Avatar 2, the movie we had all thought was never actually going to make it to theaters, now has an official release date and title, Avatar The Way of Water. Directed and produced by the legendary filmmaker James Cameron, The Way of Water's release date had been pushed back seven times before landing on its official release date later this year. And it's sure to be worth the wait, as we saw in a fantastic looking teaser trailer back in May of 2022. Now, let's get into everything we know so far about Avatar The Way of Water, including the upcoming film's amazing cast, newly revealed storylines, and all the new filmmaking technology created for this otherworldly sequel. The biggest question you probably have is, when is the release date? And we're happy to let you know that the film is now confirmed to be released on December 16th, 2022, 13 years after the release of the first Avatar film, which continues to hold the record as the highest grossing movie of all time, pulling in over $2.8 billion worldwide. And this more than paid for the all-in budget for the four planned sequels for the film, coming in at a total budget of $1 billion, or $250 million per movie. Rumored titles for the third to fifth installments in the series are Avatar the Seed Bearer coming in 2024, Avatar the Tolkien Writer in 2026, and Avatar the Quest for Awa in 2028. The reason that it's taken 13 years for us to finally get a sequel lies in a series of setbacks and a global pandemic. In October of 2010, Cameron announced that he was planning two sequels to his original movie with release dates in 2014 and 2015. By 2013 though, it was announced that a fourth installment in the franchise was in the works and would be filmed at the same time as the others, pushing back the release date of Avatar 2 to 2015, and then again to 2016 with more delays. At CinemaCon in 2016 though, James Cameron announced a fifth installment was in the works as well, and once again pushed back the release date to 2018. Then with additional filming delays due to technological issues, it was announced that the movie would have to wait until 2020. In 2019, Disney bought Fox, which was set to produce Avatar 2, and announced the second film would actually come later in 2021. Finally, amid the COVID-19 pandemic, it was announced that the film would be released on December 16th of 2022, and they have since stuck to their guns. One of the biggest reasons the filming took so long was because a majority of the movie is set to take place in or underwater, which places a lot of extra strain on the production of the film. Cameron didn't want to do dry wet filming like you might see in movies such as Aquaman, where they film actors on a dry set hung up by cords and add in CGI elements like bubbles and water effects later. He said they tried dry wet filming and compared it to actual underwater scenes, and the difference was astounding. So, with the film set to actually be made in the water, they had to develop new motion capture technology for the computer graphics. The reflections in the water caused the mocap technology to not track the actors' faces properly, so entirely new, industry-altering technology had to be developed. Another issue that arose was the difficulty in removing the scuba gear from the actors' faces and bodies in the editing process, so they had to learn to hold their breaths for long underwater scenes in the 900,000 gallon tank built for the films. The actors actually did a pretty great job of holding their breaths too, with Kate Winslet breaking a record for holding her breath in a filmmaking performance, beating out Tom Cruise and Mission Impossible Rogue Nation at over 7 minutes long. Certain storylines have been revealed about the upcoming film, which is set to follow Jake and Natiri's family several years after the events of the first movie. A picture was released in 2017 of seven young cast members of the film, most of whom are likely to be Jake and Natiri's children, including their adopted human son Spider, who they rescued from an RDA facility. According to producer John Landau, Jake took Spider in as his own, but Natiri still somewhat sees him as a member of the same race that destroyed her home, so there's likely to be some interesting dynamics at play here. According to James Cameron, the storyline in the sequels really follows Jake and Natiri and their children. It's more of a family saga about the struggle with the humans. Landau added that Jake and Natiri's family would be forced to leave their home in the second film and explore the further regions of Pandora, which will likely lead us to the more water-based areas of the planet. And it's safe to assume that this is where they'll become acquainted with the aquatic-based Navi tribe known as the Metkayina. The cast includes a number of newcomers, as well as returning actors such as Zoe Saldana and Sam Worthington, reprising their roles as Natiri and Jake Sully. Other returning actors include Sigourney Weaver and Stephen Lang, both of whose characters died in the first film. Sigourney Weaver is expected to return as a new Navi character named Kiri, who is actually one of Jake and Natiri's children, while Stephen Lang is expected to return as an Avatar Navi version of himself, perhaps with his mind and consciousness uploaded soon after his death into an Avatar. Newcoming actors include Jack Champion, who will play Jake and Natiri's adopted son Spider, and Kate Winslet, who will play a member of the water-based Metkayina tribe named Ronal. Other newcomers include Jamie Flatters, playing Jake and Natiri's firstborn son Natayam, Britton Dalton as their second son Loak, 
and Trinity Bliss as Taktiri, their youngest child. Lastly, Vin Diesel and CJ Jones have joined the cast in mystery roles, while Una Chaplin will be playing a character named Varang. While the exact runtime for The Way of Water is still unconfirmed, Cameron revealed that the unfinalized cut is over three hours long, and he doesn't want to hear any complaints. I don't want anybody whining about length when they sit and binge watch television for eight hours, Cameron told Empire Magazine this past July. I've watched my kids sit and do five one-hour episodes in a row. Here's the big social paradigm shift that has to happen. It's okay to get up and go pee. The first film in the franchise had a runtime of two hours and 40 minutes, so we can probably expect the second film to be at least this long, if not longer. But that's everything we know so far about Avatar 2. So what are you most excited for in the way of water? Drop your thoughts in the comment section below. Also, check out the video on your screen for some more of my content. Don't forget to like and subscribe, and thanks for watching Rocket Riley.